Madam Chair, move to strike the last word. You're recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you. Uh, Chair Rogers, uh, thank you again for holding this full committee markup on these very important bills. We've seen coordinated and wide-ranging attacks by the Biden administration on products, infrastructure, and now vehicles that Americans rely on every day. These attacks are in pursuit of a radical green agenda that is disconnected uh, from reality. It really is and will only result in decreasing consumer choice and unnecessarily raising costs for Americans. I'd like to speak now uh, to uh, Bill 1435, uh, the Preserving Choice and Vehicle Purchases Act, the one that we're discussing right now. Uh, I co-lead this, and the main sponsor is Mr. Joyce. I commend him for that, and of course, Representative Latta and Representative Obertor Nolte. This bill would prevent the collaboration between uh, California and the EPA to ban the sale of new internal combustion engines in California by 2035. While this might uh, look uh, on the surface, it seems like a state's rights issue. However, 17 other states are bound to follow California's regulations, which would put 40% of the entire nation's new car sales under this onerous ban. This would have far-reaching national effects since auto manufacturers would be forced to adjust their manufacturing plans to comply with California's ban, not only indirectly forcing EV vehicles uh, onto consumer, consumers outside those 17 other states, but also causing major disruptions in many other adjacent industries across the nation. While there are some, uh, Americans, some Americans might prefer EV vehicles. There's nothing wrong with that. We're all about choice. There are many others, however, more Americans that don't feel EV vehicles are best suited to fulfill their unique transportation needs. Whether that be because EVs don't <laughs> offer the range or reliability needed, the consumer lives in a, in a rural, if they live in the rural area, the consumer without easy access to public chargers, well, they may not want an EV. The EV's performance may not hold up uh, in hot or cold climates, or simply the consumers prefer a non-EV. Consumer data is clear that American consumers prefer gas-powered cars over EVs. According to Cox Automotive, 90,000 EVs are sitting on dealership car lots, a rate twice that of gas-powered cars. We have to look at the facts, folks. The California rule would also ban hybrid vehicles, ignoring the environmental benefits and choice these cars offer to consumers. In fact, these vehicles are in such high demand that they have a lower daily supply than both regular gas-powered vehicles and EVs. Perhaps one of the biggest issues with the California rule would be that it would force Americans to purchase vehicles they simply cannot afford. Kelly Book, the Kelly Blue Book, notes that EVs cost 17,000 more than gas-powered cars on average. I mean, again, goodness, 17,000 in itself is what many Americans currently pay for a new car, at least in my district. In fact, according to car and driver, there are no new EVs uh, in the 16,000 to 20,000 price range. There are, however, 10 gas-powered models in that range. This California rule, if granted the EP waiver, will place car ownership out of the reach of many Americans who would otherwise be wholly dependent on those affordable options to work and live. Finally, it is hard to imagine that this rule would indirectly result in increased costs for many constituents seeking to purchase a new vehicle. Again, I, yesterday in my hearing, I talked about affordability. You don't have access if you can't afford 
uh, the, the vehicle. Currently, auto manufacturers face significant losses with their EV divisions and rely on the profits from their gas-powered sales to maintain profitability. Uh, okay, I, I'm out of time, and I appreciate the, the extra time, uh, Madam Chair. I'll yield back. Gentleman yields back. Further discussion? Chair recognizes Ms. Eshoo. Thank you, uh, Madam Chairwoman. I move to strike the last word. You're recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you. Uh, my Republican colleagues claim that uh, today's bill is about preserving choice. Uh, but I think it's really an attack on electric vehicles. In fact, I think